What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE TV 14 is wild as NXT gets a major overhaul. The reason why NXT was censored last night, WWE is aware of concern about black wrestlers, no OG bloodline reunion, Roman Reigns' Royal Rumble plans leaked, Vince McMahon falls further down, WWE unhappy with the recent match, a top WWE star is injured again and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and we'll get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at WWE TV 14 who was wild with a major overhaul on NXT. Atop of today's news are reports on NXT's debut on the CW network and some changes that occurred during the season premiere. First let's have a look at the new look. Now, NXT received a makeover during its debut on CW. The show which took place at Chicago's Allstate Arena included plenty of surprises including a new black and silver logo and a new opening video. They also had a short before the show as uh, Punk was sporting some rather familiar shorts. It's a good thing they didn't hear that on the show as that would probably would have been censored. Did Punk get those shorts from Shawn Michaels himself from back in the Attitude Era? But moving on, there were new titles introduced. Now the season premiere featured guest appearances by Shawn Michaels and Triple H, but the DX founders weren't just there for a cheap pop. The Heartbreak Kid unveiled new versions of the NXT titles with the new belts representing the black and silver motif. Triple H then showed up to pump the fans up for the show. Have you guys seen the new belts and if so, what do you guys think about the design? We kind of like them. Next up, a new champion crowned. Our fans also saw a new NXT champion crowned as Trip Williams defeated Ethan Page to win his second NXT championship. CM Punk served as guest referee for the match and hit a GTS on Page after the match. But why was NXT censored? Well, fans are asking why the CW Network censored some fan chants on Tuesday's premiere. There are reports that the holy shit chants were censored, but PW Insider's Mike Johnson weighed in on the censorship, suggesting that CW may have had to censor the chants because the CW is a broadcast channel as opposed to a cable channel like NXT's previous home, the USA Network, and they're subject to different standards. Next up, WWE aware of concern about black wrestlers. Is the WWE aware of the complaints that male black wrestlers have been underrepresented on WWE's PLEs? Well, a new report from Fightful Select reveals WWE has been made aware of it. It's a thing that I don't think that like came to mind necessarily. I've never heard anyone say, yes, this was intentional or anything like that. I did hear people saying, well, that's obviously something that will be addressed now, but we'll see how it's addressed. It's more about black male single talent getting featured. Do you think that black wrestlers on WWE television and PLEs are being underrepresented? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, no OG Bloodline reunion. Now it looks like fans will see Roman Reigns battle on Solo Sokoa's Bloodline in a War Games match at Survivor Series as many fans have speculated. However, WrestleVotes is reporting that Roman's team might not be who fans suspect. The stronger that Jey Uso looks as Intercontinental Champion and now officially a singles champion, it's not to say a Bloodline vs Bloodline match won't happen at Survivor Series, but it could be a different variation of superstars than the ones that everyone is anticipating. I do think that the Solo Sokoa led Bloodline will be involved and Roman Reigns will be on the opposite team. Could it end up being both Usos and Sami Zayn like the internet expects? Yeah, but there's a real possibility it's another three superstars. Do you guys think that Roman Reigns should get the OG Bloodline together for a War Games match? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Roman Reigns' Royal Rumble plans leaked. Now, the 2025 Royal Rumble could see a big change as WrestleVotes is reporting that Roman Reigns could end up competing in the Rumble match itself. Reigns is being advertised for the show, which is no surprise. However, what is a surprise is him competing in the match itself. From just the short questions that I asked that I got back, he's probably more likely to be in the Rumble for the first time in a while as opposed to a single standalone match. Roman's on the Rumble poster, likely to be in the Rumble match. Roman has spent the last few Rumbles defending his undisputed championship, so it'll be interesting to see whether he wins the Rumble and if so, who he decides to challenge at WrestleMania 41. Next up, Vince McMahon falls further down. Oh how the mighty have fallen. That's definitely been the case with the former WWE Kingpin whose reputation is in tatters and now is no longer listed in Forbes' 400th wealthiest list. Ringside News commented on the new report, Vince McMahon is not on this year's list. He was ranked number 366 last year with a net worth of $2.7 billion but he's now dropped off the list in 2024, now valued at $2.5 billion. It is to be noted that McMahon is currently ranked at number 1,286 worldwide. Next up, WWE unhappy with recent match. A Raw's main event last monster standing match between Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman is still being discussed by fans who enjoyed the Pier 6 brawl. 
However, a new report states that WWE wasn't happy with one aspect of the match. During a Q&A on Sportskeeda's WrestleBinge YouTube channel, WrestleVotes reported, The performance reads performance last night. Overall, everybody loved it. This is specifically talking about the broken ring spot. Let's just say it didn't go as planned. They didn't like the way it came off. Apparently, the spot didn't have the same effect as previous broken ring spots, with WrestleVotes reporting, I did have a source who was there last night. The internal reaction instantly was, oof, it's not as big as we would have hoped. I don't know if it was a mechanical thing or just the impact that it made. It looked as it did. To give a little more color into what my source was referencing, this was probably the most predictable ring collapsing spot they've ever done. So when you know it's coming and it's still not great, therein lies the problem, but not taking anything away from the performance prior to that. The WWE shouldn't complain about the spot because it's been used enough times to lose its novelty. While it's still used sparingly enough to still mean something, it's unlikely it'll ever mean as much as to when it first happened. This should remind the WWE that it needs to restrict certain spots to once or twice a year, such as wrestlers being speared through the security barrier. Do you guys think the ring break was a bit of a flop? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Matt Cardona discusses not being signed by AEW or WWE. Now, Matt Cardona, aka former superstar Zack Ryder, is surprised that he still hasn't been contacted by WWE or AEW about being signed with either promotion. Cardona, who was released from the WWE in 2020, has spent the last four years dazzling fans on the indie circuit. Still, he told Walkway to the Fight Club Steve Mulhausen that, that he's disappointed. Cardona explained he doesn't want to sign a contract just to be on a roster, but he's still shocked. I'll be completely honest, I don't know what the F is going on. I've done everything there is to do. I'm legit shocked that I've not gotten an offer from any company. That's not being egotistical, that's me being realistic. I've done all there is to do, what else can I possibly do? But I can't let this run be fueled by bitterness or negativity. It was never, oh, I gotta prove people wrong. It was, I've gotta prove my fans right, and I feel like I've done that. Now Matt said he knows getting bitter is the wrong route to take, but will he feel that way in another two years if he's still not signed? Next up, a top WWE star injured again. That was bad news for Braun Strowman as the Monster Among Monsters didn't emerge unscathed from his epic bout against Bronson Reed on Raw. Brian Alvarez reported on the recent Observer Live that Strowman was hurt during the hard-hitting match. I did get it confirmed. If you watched the Raw show last night, the last Monster Standing match, they went to a commercial break and they came back and Braun Strowman got hit by Bronson Reed with a Samoan drop. According to Alvarez, it quickly became clear that Braun was legitimately hurt. Braun Strowman grabbed his thigh slash groin area and then they were going to do a spot where he knocked Bronson Reed off the apron through some chairs. Strowman starts running and I knew immediately this guy's hurt. He normally can't run all that fast, but he couldn't even walk the ropes. He was limping the ropes. Alvarez noted how the referee tried to salvage the situation when it became apparent Strowman was legitimately hurt. He knocks Reed off the apron and there was a long period where he just kind of laid there in the corner and the ref's furiously communicating with the back. He may have torn his groin is what it's looking like. That's certainly what they thought yesterday. So far there's been no follow up on Braun's condition and whether he'll be out of action. This is the latest setback for the big man who missed considerable time after neck surgery. Let's hope it's nothing serious and we're wishing all the best for Braun Strowman. Next up, fans unhappy with fake Bloodline story. Now it looks like the recent tweets concerning Anawahi family member Journey Fatu were part of an ill-conceived storyline rather than an actual crisis. Fans became concerned when Juicy Fano tweeted on 29th September, I don't know where you are brother, miss you Uso. Please if you see our Uso Journey Fatu, please contact me ASAP. Please use your following hashtag if you see him around. Hashtag where's Journey? Fans became legitimately worried about Journey, who is Jacob Fatu's brother, but it eventually came out that Journey was working the fans with an angle. Ringside News reports that AEW producer Chris Hero called out what some might call out a publicity stunt gone wrong. Hey everyone, this is a work. An incredibly ignorant work. To anyone involved with this, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Delete it. Apologize. And never do any dumb shit like this again. I don't care what the QR code leads to, take a look through the comments slash quotes and sadly you'll see people who have been misled. I'm so embarrassed to see this, especially when loved ones across the country are actually missing from a very real tragedy. Shame on anyone sharing this in an effort to push a dumbass storyline. According to the report, Hero deleted the tweet, however it may have spurred Juicy to apologize. As Hero pointed out, people in the southern United States are dealing with a calamity due to the recent hurricane, with family members and friends searching for missing people affected by the storm. Juicy tweeted an apology saying, Unfortunately, I wasn't aware of the situation that is currently happening in the real world. I want to apologize for my ignorance to current world events. I am sorry. To those who I have offended with this, I apologize sincerely. And finally, an injured superstar on the comeback trail. And last but not least, Dakota Kai is letting fans know she's training hard for a comeback following the meniscus tear she sustained in August. She posted a video on Instagram showing her training for a return. A wrestling news provided information on her recovery saying the expected return timetable being 8-10 to 10 weeks on the sidelines as a result. 
It was reported that there was a lot of sympathy for her as she is well liked and respected. The popular Damage Control member was out of action for almost a year after she tore an ACL. Some fans were surprised when the WWE brought her back to appear at ringside despite Kai not being cleared to compete. But this brings up the question whether injured wrestlers should stay at home until completely healthy. A recent story suggested that AEW star Adam Cole, who broke an ankle, has been out of action for over a year and was taken off the road due to concerns that travelling to appear on TV was impeding his recovery. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.